Hey Windows Warriors, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be covering five Windows hacks that you probably didn't know. Now these hacks will work on practically any version of Windows. Of course, some of them are exclusive to Windows 10 and Windows 11. But before we get into that, this video is brought to you by my wallet. That's right, folks. No sponsors, no paid promos, just me, my wallet, and the exciting news that I'll be attending ESET World 2025. ESET World is the cybersecurity event of the year. Experts, researchers, and industry leaders all in one place talking about the digital threats, AI security, and all the cool tech that keeps the internet from turning into total chaos. And the best part? You can watch it live for free at ESETworld.com. Just sign up and boom, you're in. Now, if you'd like to support the official, unofficial sponsor of this video, my wallet, you can drop a super thanks below. Because let's be real, Vegas isn't cheap and neither is airport food. My wallet thanks you for your support. Now, the first hack I'm gonna teach you is an easy one, but you might not know about this one. It's called God Mode. And no, it doesn't give you unlimited invincibility on your computer, but it does give you absolute control over all the settings on the PC all in one place. The way you create it is simple. We're gonna right click on an empty place on the desktop and then create a new folder. Now, if you have Windows 11, you may need to go down here to more options because Windows 11 is basically Windows 10 Extra Clicks Edition. So anyway, we're gonna create a new folder and then we're not gonna rename it yet. Very important, some people mess this up. You don't wanna rename it right away because then what we wanna do might not work. But we are gonna rename this folder and we're gonna rename it this. I'll put this in the link in the, actually in the description below. You can copy and paste it. And we're gonna rename the folder to that once we paste it and now you have this icon with no name what this is is god mode which is every single setting on the pc and it also has a description for what it is so you don't actually have to know exactly what backup and restore windows or all these different features are but instead of having to go through all the settings menus and trying to find the correct link to get to where you want Every setting on the computer is here, whether it's changing a power plan or a different mouse setting, everything's here all in one place. That is Windows God Mode. This was actually created by the Windows developers to go about their day easier and I can't say I blame them. Speaking of power, that's our next hack. Go ahead and while you're in God Mode here, go ahead and choose a power plan. If you didn't follow that step, just search power and then navigate to choose a power plan. You'll see that by default, most machines have balanced, high performance, and power saver. But you might have seen some gaming rigs that come from the factory with an ultimate power plan. Here's how you create it. To create the ultimate power plan profile, we're gonna go ahead and down here to search and type CMD, and then we're going to run it as administrator right here. Alternatively, you can also hit Windows key plus R and then type CMD, then hold left control, left shift, and then hit enter. Either way, the point is, is we wanna run a command prompt as administrator. We already have one right here, and the command we need to run is this one right here, which I'll drop in the, des the description below. We'll just copy that, and then we'll paste it here, hit enter, and now we've created the ultimate performance power plan profile. So if we type power again in the search and go to choose a power plan, we now have the ultimate performance power plan, which is the highest performing plan that's automatically selectable within Windows, which is a bit on the conservative side to begin with. Another thing you might not know how to do is if you had some kind of hiccup where you ran this too many times and now you have four copies of the same power plan profile, if I select another pro uh, profile like high performance and I go into change plan settings, I can click here to delete this plan. So if you have a ton of power plans in here you need to clean up, you can use that to delete them as long as you don't have it selected. I'm gonna go ahead and select Ultimate Performance because why go soft? Now this one's geared towards ITs and advanced users, but you'll really like this one. See, normally when you have a crash or something going wrong with your computer, the event viewer is what you would normally go through. So you can find out what this error was. Maybe that would relate to my GPU crashing a game. It can get us information, but this is a really bad way to look at things. I got a better one for you. Go ahead and hit Windows key plus R to pull up the run command again. And we're gonna use this simple command. It's PRF perfmon for a space forward slash rel and then hit enter and this is opening up the reliability monitor and then we have a advanced timeline of all the things going on so i see an x here i can actually look 
at what wasn't working or what had a critical event. So it's just a better way and a better timeline than the event viewer. And this is built right into Windows. And again, that command is right here. I'll also put it in the description just so you don't have to write it down. But yeah, the reliability monitor, much better than event viewer. I consider it kind of a Windows hack because a lot of ITs don't know about this one. Now this next hack is a fun one that a lot of people don't know about. You can have two different desktop experiences simultaneously. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hold the Windows key and left control at the same time and then hit the letter D. What we've done is we've created a whole nother desktop experience. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the Windows key and left control again and then I can use the left and right arrows to navigate between these two desktop experiences. So when I go back to my primary desktop and open up this and then holding Windows key and control again, then to the right, I've navigated to this whole other desktop experiences. Now let's assume that I've created a lot of these. Now it can be confusing as to which desktop I'm on. Not a problem. Hold the Windows key and then the tab button will bring up this menu here. Then I can see exactly how many virtual desktops I have. I can go back over here and do it again, go to this desktop, so I never get lost. And to get rid of these virtual desktops, just click the X up here, and now I only have my primary desktop. That's the virtual desktop built into Windows. And this last hack is arguably one of the most important ones that you'll need to remember. We're gonna hit the Windows key plus R and we're gonna open up the command prompt as administrator, just like we did before. We're gonna hold left control, left shift and hit enter. And also you can of course just type CMD in the search and then click run as administrator. Has to be run as administrator or it won't work. So you wanna see administrator command prompt and close this other one. Now these two commands are so simple, but they're so important. The first one we're gonna do is SFC spacebar forward slash scan now, all one word. This is a simple built-in tool to Windows that almost no one uses, and they're not even teaching this in a lot of IT schools because it's a fundamental, but this is checking the system files of the machine for errors and corruption, and then automatically tries to fix them. And more times than not, I would say 80% of the time, it fixes major Windows issues, such as maybe your start menu doesn't open up, or the file explorer automatically closes, or your system is running really slow. This actually fixes a lot of F PS related issues in gaming. So this should be run on every machine regularly. And this is one of the first things I run on a suspicious machine or a machine that's having problems is I always run the system file checker. And then when this thing gets to 100%, it's gonna say if it found, if it, if it whether it found resource corruption or not, system corruption or not. And if it found it, it often says that it fixed it automatically. When that happens, you restart your machine and then it's fixed. It's literally, uh, it's literally the system file checker or the corruption scanner. And this one, everyone needs to know. You know, I only promised you five Windows hacks, but I'm gonna give you this one as a free bonus because Nico loves you. Okay, it's, gonna call, it's called the DISM command or DISM. You're gonna type DISM space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image it's not case sensitive i just do that because it looks nice space forward slash restore health all one word no spaces there and then hit enter what this is doing is it's scanning the component store of windows that's where all the functions like the start menu the file explorer um, all the actual pieces of the actual operating system is checking if any of these those are missing or corrupted and if it finds any that are corrupted it'll automatically automatic automatically try to fix it and it's pretty effective at it i had a viewer uh, talk to me and his start menu was all gray when he clicked it and it wouldn't work it was broken and so we ran the dism command on there and gave him a new start menu so that's what it does and it's a very strong command and again not a lot of IT schools are teaching this because it's kind of an old school fundamental and most colleges are teaching ITs to go straight into the workplace this is a really important command SFC and DISM are great tools for every IT and every home user should know these the problem is is a lot of places charge to just run these commands when anyone can do them at home because they're built into Windows. And congratulations on making it to the end of the video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you like it, please smash that like button. And if you dislike it, smash the dislike button and get out of here. I'm just kidding. I really appreciate you watching this video. Consider subscribing if you like, and I shall see you next time.